Hey guys, I'm working on Cato. He's practicing his down stay in the kitchen. I was over there on the couch um, just doing some paperwork and he was whining. So what do we do with whining? Well, you want to correct it. Um, remember, we're cultivating that calm state of mind, calm on command. So if he's whining, that's a lot like um, that's like us kind of complaining, right? That means we're not in a good frame of mind uh, and you want to just nip that in the bud. I nip it in the bud by using e-collar. So I just tell him to be quiet and I'll hit and hold that red button when I say quiet. Um, and I had to dial up to, I was on level 21 to get him to stop because he really wanted to hang out with me. Um, so quick story about last night. Uh, I was uh, taking him out for his last walk of the night and uh, there was a teenager in the neighborhood who loves dogs and she really wanted to meet him. So I put him in a sit um, and I said, you know, just, just, uh, you know, approach him slowly. I said, let him get in, let me work him into a sit and he has to be calm before you meet him. Well, that kind of all fell apart when she started to approach because he popped up and she kept advancing and uh, she just started petting him and it was fine. It was no big deal. But the point of the story is that it got him really, really jacked up. So when she was done, um, he was so excited that I had to really work him back into a calm state of mind. So first, the first thing is, that's why I don't like people to, you know, pet a dog when I'm out in public. Um, but also, uh, the good thing was that I was able to calm him down. So if that happens, be really careful that you can trust the person. Um, you know, she was a young, sweet kid and, and I know her and, and I knew he would love her and he was very receptive to it. Um, but if it's like a stranger, you know, out and about that you don't know, um, I really would not let that happen because you just don't know about strangers. Um, but also too, it was a good proof of his, uh, off switch and he has one. Um, but it also showed me he's got a lot of work to do, um, in meeting people. You know, if he's a therapy dog, he's got to hold that sit and he's got to accept pets without getting crazy. So, um, but we just do keep in mind he's six months old and he's in training. So no big thing. Just wanted to share that story. Have a great day, guys. He's going to be worked by my helper, Elisa, today. He's on a slip lead and an e-collar today. He is not on prong, um, in part because I do want to test his skills outside of a prong collar, which will primarily be used for just outings and walks um, in the future. Uh, but when he's training with me, it's on whenever he's out, the prong collar is on. He's not a big fan of the prong collar. He's always trying to scratch it off. Um, and some dogs are like that. They just never get used to it. But you know what? It really helps him perform very well um, when we go places. So that's why we use it. All right, guys. Have a good day.